Last night, the Central Dauphin School Board met for the first time since the release of this video, which is showing an incident between a parent and a a student on a school bus back in 2016. The release follows a seven year legal battle in which the district tried to stop this video from being made public. School district officials took questions about the video and their efforts to shield it from the public. Fox 43's Logan Perone asked the same question. How much did the district's legal battle cost? For the first time since its release, the Central Dauphin School Board faced direct questions on a school bus altercation video from 2016. Is it true that the only the president of the board saw the video at this time? Why was there a five, four, five to four vote for the rest of the board not to see the video and then same the same five to four vote to continue going to court? with the case. It all stems from a legal battle to keep this video sought out by legal action by Fox 43 hidden. Just curious. Does this the action of this board show transparency in their efforts to stop the video from being made public? The Central Dauphin School District likely paid a pretty penny. While the district officials have been silent on the matter, a former district board member says it likely cost them between 200 and 250 thousand dollars. That estimate came from former school board member Eric Epstein, who filed his own right to know request to get the exact dollar amount spent keeping the video private. The school district must respond to his request by this Thursday, April 20th. At Monday night's meeting, the superintendent referred to what he says are false reports. Inaccurate media reports have claimed the district spent $200,000 to keep a single school bus video from public access. That's wrong. However, we asked for clarity prior to the board meeting. Specifically, we asked about the legal fees, who authorized them and why the school board members could not view the video. Their reply did not address our questions and rather outlined the same claims of students' privacy that were brought up throughout the seven-year court battle over the videotape. The district's full statement is on our website, fox43.com. Logan Perone, Fox 43 News. Fox 43 first requested the video in 2016, but was denied. In May, the Office of Open Records agreed that the district had to release the video, but the district appealed. In 2017 and 2018, the Court of Common Pleas of Dauphin County and the Commonwealth Court agreed that the video should be released. The district appealed again. In 2020, the, the state Supreme Court sent the case back to the Commonwealth Court to figure out whether the video was subject to the Federal Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. In 2021, that court stuck by its ruling. By the end of last year, the PA Supreme Court ruled for the release of the video, and Fox 43 received it earlier this month.